<laughs> Not so sure, it feels very, very small. And again, Revolution have gone and put it in a walloping great big box. Why? Why Revolution? I want to know, please tell me. Got a pair of scissors. They're not to stab anyone with, though. They're just to um to slice. Oh, there's nowhere to slice, so I'll have to tear it open. But hey ho. Dime qué es lo que esperas. Dime qué quieres ver. Hello beautiful ones, welcome back to the channel. I'm Joseph, it's lovely to meet you if you're new here and if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Now then beautiful ones, in today's video we're going to be looking at something, I don't even know what it is actually. <laughs> Sounds a bit ridiculous doesn't it, but I ordered it um, last week, some, no I ordered it on Thursday and it arrived yesterday, today's Sunday, so two days to arrive and I can't remember what it is for the life of me. I think it might be um, Revolutions version of Max face and body so if that sounds like and this will be an unboxing and a blind review today so if that sounds like something that you guys want to find out more about stick around why not eh why not I can imagine you lots of you out there are wondering to yourselves why doesn't this man even know what he's got in his hand it's not in my hand it's still in the box it came in and as I said this will be an unboxing today mm. <laughs> mm. not so sure it feels very very small and again revolution have gone and put it in a walloping great big box why why revolution i want to know please tell me got a pair of scissors they're not to stab anyone with though they're just to um to slice oh, there's nowhere to slice so i'll have to tear it open but hey ho do you know what beautiful ones i've discovered that the lighting is better if i have something here can you see it suddenly makes my face look a lot paler and a, a lot just does it drain the color or not what do you reckon shall i just can you see that bizarre isn't it lighting a eh? lighting right shall i stop playing with light and carry on talking about when well, i just do this unboxing thing i'll do that shall i sorry scatty mood again today guys i'll just show you the box it comes in so it's just your bog standard cardboard corrugated cardboard box um and again they've gone way ott with the old packaging that's huge i mean that could actually contain a pair of shoes couldn't it very very small shoes granted not not my shoes because my shoes are massive size 11 shoes so no way would they fit in here but why am I talking about shoes? Okay. And as I've already said, whatever's in this costs £10 plus £3.49, £3.59 postage and packaging. Um, so th they give you three options for postage, next day delivery, expedited delivery, which comes within two days. But this came within two days and I've never, ever had an issue with Revolution. They certainly don't take longer than two days to arrive. So big thumbs up there. So without any further drivel, shall I crack him open? And inside is your, your basically your bog standard black um, black revolution. Ah, here's the product. Quite a lot of paper involved in the old situation or sitch. But this is the product. Right. So you've just seen me take that out of the box, haven't you? And this is brand, brand, brand new. I haven't even seen this before. So this is called Revolution Glow Body Veil Face and Body Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid and Vitamin C. And this is in shade, um, I think it's in F something or other. Hang on. This is a big bottle, beautiful ones, for a Revolution product because they tend to shave off one or two mils rather than your bog standard 30 or 50 mils. They give you 48, 45 mils sometimes. Um, and when it comes to 30 mils, they tend to shave even more. So 24, 20, 23 mils. Do you know what I mean? But this is 120 mils. So that's a big, big bottle, isn't it? Um, depends how concentrated the formulation is inside. And this is in shade F4. I don't know if you can see that or not. And um, this was the second lightest cool toned um toned foundation I, I suppose yeah it's a foundation isn't it um and they, they they think they did something like 20 shades again we can find out when we look at the website later on can't we so what i need to do now is to find the clues to, to basically inform us as to what we can expect from this product and they'll be on the bottle somewhere won't they i've already looked on the back and that lot there is ingredients from that bit down to there a lot of ingredients in this product um and the only clue we've got is buildable lightweight coverage which says or lightweight buildable coverage, in fact, which it says just there. It comes in a robust coffee, sort of beige-ish coloured plastic uh, bottle with the Revolution sticking bra sticker branding on the front, the word Revolution Glow up the top, the name of the product here, and what's it called again? Body Veil, face and body foundation, written there and down in the gold, but it says hyaluronic acid and vitamin C, I remember that from, yeah, okay. And on the back, as I've said, it's just the ingredients. And it, I guess it feels quite sturdy. I'm liking the fact it's got that rose gold lid. Um, but you know, I imagine this is one you just pour out, so I don't think there'll be a pump under there. In fact, there won't be, it's too small already. Do you know what I mean? So far, guys, I'm really impressed with the bottle and um, it's accruing points rapidly with me because it's even got a, a security sticker, which you can see that it's just started to unpeel. 
just for time's sake, because I don't want to keep you beautiful ones any longer than is strictly necessary on this. Why am I showing you a sticker? You don't want to see a sticker, do you? No. <laughs> the second ingredient in is cyclopentasilic stone, which is a silicone, so we'll be able to, you know, add, add water into it. So without any further waffle, I'll just take, oh, wow. Can you see it's got a spout on it? So that should make um, application a little bit easier. So we can, um, do you know what I mean? We can control where we put it. So it's very thick, very, very viscous indeed. Put the lid on him. Otherwise, well, you know what will happen, guys, don't you, if you're a regular viewer of mine. So that's him there. Looking a little bit on the pale side, I imagine. But should we work it in? OK. It does feel pretty thick on the skin. Nice, nice consistency, though. And that's gliding on. You can definitely feel the silicones. There's something else in there, though, as well. So I imagine this is one of those ones which gives you length of wear. And that's not silicone. Um, I won't go into the, what the ingredient is right now. But it helps the foundation to bond with the skin other than, you know, bonding in a silicone way. It helps to. Um... Oh, wow. Hang on. Just need to clean fingers. Now then, beautiful ones, it has got a very, very, very faint tropically sort of smell. I can smell pineapple and I can definitely smell vanilla. I'm not the biggest fan of vanilla in the world. So um, but it's not massive. It's not a massive scent and it's not overpowering. Um, and it's certainly not that cloying, horrible French uh, French pharmacy sort of scent. Do you know what I mean? Which which um, Yves Rocher and companies like that tend to drench every product they've ever made in. But um, so, and this is called Revolution Glow. So we're going to have to expect some glow from the product, aren't we? Can you see that area there? And has it dried? Wow, bone dry. Absolutely. And you saw me put it on about 30 seconds ago. The clock's over there. Don't know why I keep looking over there because I've actually moved my clock now. It's definitely got a very strong pink undertone to it. I don't think the camera's going to pick that up at the minute, but um, in the daylight, I can definitely see quite a strong pink undertone to it on the back of that hand or the rubber arm again, which we, we're trying to move away from the rubber arm. I think we've done that one to death now, haven't we, guys? Find something else to laugh about, shall I? We'll do. Um, yeah. And bearing in mind, guys, that is now bone dry. Can you see how glossy and how shimmery that is? I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up or not, but um, yep. And that just feels touch dry totally now. A little bit on the stack tacky side, but you need to expect that from any sort of foundations, apart from really, really matte foundations, which will leave a, a chalky sort of matte or, or a, a, you know, they won't feel anything under the skin other than maybe a little bit powdery or right. So should we move on to phase two, which is to pl apply a swatch down here? By the way, I'm use I've gone back to using my Bacuccio gel. I made a new batch up the other day and I'm going to be filming a DIY tutorial on how to make that one. Although I've used all my Bacucho oil now, so I need to order some more. As soon as that arrives, I'll um, I'll get on to that. And um, and I'm using that's all I'm using on my skin at the minute. I've just had a hot bath, hence the red flush. But um, I think skin's looking okay at the minute, don't you guys? So far, beautiful ones. I'm really, really impressed with that. Um, and the, the coverage it gives you, it's much, much more than a, a tint. So for 120 mils for £10, plus the, you know, the £3.49 post plus the £3.49 I paid for postaging and packaging, it's, um, it, it's very much worth it and it's a bargain. So that's there and I'll just apply a swatch. And now this should match my skin pretty near as damn it. Maybe pulling a little bit towards the old pale, but bring it down onto your neck. Can you see how different my neck is there to my face? And that, that, that's the colour you need to try and match for reasons of um, uniformity and so on. Um, and because and obviously once you found a foundation to match your neck and try and get it to match your face too, big ask, I get that. But um, as soon as you've got one which can match both of those, then you're on to a winner. Texture, uh, it feels a little bit hydrating. So that will be the hyaluronic acid and the vitamin C in the formulation, won't it? Beautiful one. Mm -hmm. Yes, it will. Silly scatty mood again today. Um, it has dried now and I put that on about a minute ago, didn't I? Clocks over my head. <laughs> um, yeah. And that's bone, bone dry now. And the, the tackiness is gone or the, um, the you know, the um, that very, very slight hydrating feeling I, I felt before is gone now. And that just feels really lovely. Colour match. What do you reckon at home? I think it looks OK. And I... <laughs> The finish on the skin, I guess it's a slightly sort of matte finish because um, these, these bonding agents, they, they, they tend to produce a more matte finish than anything else. So i put my J-cloth over that's just fallen on the floor, typical. Without any further drivel, shall I get some of this on my face? And we'll, we'll just see how it goes straight out of the bottle. And then I've got my foundation brush over there. We could apply it slightly wet, although I don't think it will work because water and these, um, these fixing agents, they don't rub along very well together. And we, won't, we probably might not be able to get the same results we get when using a silicone. Do bear in mind that fixing agents aren't silicones. But shall I stop waffling? I'll stop waffling. 
again take the lid off him and we'll put should we put quite a big dollop on or should we no we're supposed to start off with small layers aren't we so that should be plenty there and hopefully this should spread over my entire face that little bit there so pick up some and just dot it on my skin now the smell it's just it it doesn't bother me as such because as i said before it's quite a pleasant sort of tropically sort of smell although i just wish that they hadn't bothered fragrancing it at all uh, and i know many of you out there can't stand fragrances amanda and michelle being too hi both of you guys how are you doing and all of you out there i hope you're all okay guys having a wonderful weekend i'm having an amazing weekend as always very very busy um but you know never too busy to be able to, to, to have not to have time to stop and film for my beautiful ones out there Right, so that's one layer of him applied with fingers. Oh, <laughs> taking care not to jab yourself in the eye, guys, because a blind, um, a blind review doesn't involve actually being blind in one eye, does it, guys? No, it so doesn't, but right. Can you see how red my eye's gone now? Because I literally did just stab myself in the eye, but looking a bit dead now, aren't we, guys? What do you reckon? No, I better just tidy up Stoshi. Mm, the smell it doesn't linger do you know what i mean it does it's not one of those um that, that sort of overpowering nauseous n nauseating noxious sort of smell that the um the maybelline dream satin and the bourgeois both possessed but um right okay bearing in mind my eyebrows are bright red because i've just scoured them with a j cloth um should have a close inspection of that one shades a little bit too pale and i did actually as i said before i did actually go for the slightly darker one of the, the lightest too too cool two cool shades although i think they did fair on top of that which would be ultra 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 pale hopefully this will oxidize down so um i'll, I'll, I'll just have an inspection and then i'll go away and come back in five minutes oh, wow yep i suppose it's quite perfecting isn't it around here and on the skin very 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 moist um just lovely ah, let's blend that into the hairline obviously fingers applications because I couldn't actually see what I'm doing because without my glasses on I'm pretty visually impaired but um, cleaning fingers wow okay yep loving this stuff very very lightweight oil free water based um, I think anyway again we can find out just making wild assumptions there it might be chock a block full of oil but I doubt it you know what I mean um, how many times am I going to say, do you know what I mean today, guys? I'll try and keep that to a, a minimum, shall I? <laughs> right, I better just clean my glasses, which are now filthy. Oh, the life of big me, eh? You wouldn't swap with me, guys, would you? Do you fancy swapping me just for a day, please? <laughs> That's loads better. Just giving my glasses a quick wipe on my shirt because I am that glamorous, guys. Um, so I did notice it gathering around the pores on my nostrils. Um, so, you, you know, I, I guess you could use a primer. One of the, the, the Revolution primer I um, reviewed yesterday or the day before the fill at the blur and fill one or the blur, the blur pour one, it's called, isn't it? Um, and that should fill in any pits or anything like that that you may have on your skin. Um, but, yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm quite liking this stuff so far. Again, if it didn't have the, the smell, but um, it's, as I've said, it's not overbearing or overpowering, but bring that down onto the neck um and i i can't see how it's thick with my skin because i can still manipulate it do you know what i mean i've had it on for like five minutes nearly now um and i what i'll go and do now guys is just give this five minutes just to oxidize. i don't think it will oxidize much more than it has but you know it, we, we have known foundations to oxidize quite severely in the past haven't we although now it's looking it's it's wind to me again isn't it um whereas some of me is very, very slightly darker, but this is definitely wind to me now. Um, I'll go and get myself a cup of tea, and when I come back, we'll, we'll um, take this layer off, and then should we apply with a foundation brush? Let's do that. I'll try and keep this video as short as possible today. So beautiful. And so far, we've tried it on the back of my hand, and we've put a swatch on my neck there, which I've just removed, obviously, because now I'm going to be applying this to my whole face. So, And with a soaked brush as well. I mean, we applied it to my face with fingers, didn't we, too? So... I'll get quite a big dollop of that one on there. And this stuff is just, I'm, I'm falling for this one big time already. And we're not, we're about halfway through the, the uh, review now, aren't we guys? So um, can you see that there? That, as I said, my only issue with, and I've just, sorry, I should have shown you. I've just um, got a bowl of water here and just soak your brush in there, guys. Um, and then what you need to do is get a J cloth and just 
take the excess water off. A bit of a faff, I suppose, but I get that it's a bit of a faff, guys, but at the end of the day, if, if it transforms this into the most beautiful looking skin, it's going to be well worth it, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Just to, and I think, mate, applying foundation should be a ritual anyway, don't you? Can you see that's running down my hand now? So um, we'll have to apply a very small amount of that one to start off with, and we can always build it up, can't we? Because it did say it was buildable coverage, didn't it? And what I do with foundations is just to, um, to, to get the excess, you know, the, the remainder of the stuff off. My brush, again, being assailed with the old um, tropical island smell. Anybody would think we were in Barbados or the Caribbean or the Caribbean, as you beautiful American people call it. Um, yep, it, it goes on the skin really nicely with a brush. And I, I, I noticed that with fingers too. Um, and sorry, you should start in the centre of your face, obviously, because maybe not obviously, but um, you, the, the majority or the, the bulk of our textures in the middle of our face. Um, blackheads and pits and um, the redness as well so yeah it's, it's going on really nicely and I thought there'd be quite a bit of resistance um, because I don't know if any of you and I'll link this video into the description too but my collection the lasting um, perfection or the lasting whatever it is um, by collection that's got one of those fixing agents in and I had a heck of a job getting that onto my skin with a wet brush I really did because obviously the water's pulling in one direction and the fixing agents are trying to to do their job but i'm not letting them do their job by trying to you know incorporate water into the mixture um yeah okay so that's nearly one layer of that one on just work it into the pores and all i'm doing there is trying to push the, the foundation into my pores and then i'm just going to sweep over it just to seal it off okay that's that should be dried now um as i said my foundation brush isn't soaking wet it's somewhere between wet and wet and damp I'm not soaking wet and damp, I should say. Now then, put my brush over there. <clears throat> I've still got loads left on the back of my hand. That's one layer. And on the, wow. Wow, it just feels incredible. Um, I can't quite describe how it feels. It just makes my skin feel even plumper and a little bit um, very, very hydrating, although not greasy at all. And has that dried yet? Yeah, this side is starting to dry down here, down down in my jawbone. Um, although the, this area up here is still quite um, quite wet, not not wet, still slightly damp. Um, so that hasn't dried. I'm just keeping an eye on my. Found out I don't want it to go on my new shirt, um, which my mum got for me. Bless her heart. Just tidy up brows. And the obligatory pass over the old um, stosh. Right. Now then, beautiful ones, you've heard me say this before, but when you, when you incorporate water or use water in a mixture with a foundation which is silicone based, it can change the colour of the foundation very, very slightly as well. It makes it more truer, makes it more match your skin even better. And I think that's what's happened here now, because when I... Ah, right, that's dried now. I've left my skin feeling really, really lovely and soft. Um, but wow. Yep, really, really, really pleased with this now. Look at that area there, guys. So I, I guess it's living up to its name, isn't it? Revolution Glow. Although when I bought this, I didn't realise it was Revolution Glow. I just went online and I thought, right. I knew what I was going to buy before I went online, um, but I had to go, had to look at the website just to choose the shade. Um, but then I, you know, I left the, uh, the the website pretty quickly after that because it defeats the object of blind reviews if I actually know what I'm talking, if I know what I'm going to be or know about what I'm going to be talking about that day. Um, yep, loving it. Now my skin looks quite good, doesn't it? Um, better than it did before there there my forehead um yep okay really really pleased. should we go in for a should i put the rest of that on my face why not again guys get your bowl just re-soak your brush just 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 so it's not um so it's not soaking wet um and then just dab off the excess and the, the idea behind it is just that so you know you know that, that everything's just gone on the floor typical <laughs> is that you know that the brush isn't soaking wet but it's not dry either some as i said somewhere between damp and soaking or sopping and um, and we are in effect creating a new product here, aren't we? By um, incorporating water, certainly the the way it looks on the skin. And as you know, out there, some of you may know, I love doing this sort of thing. It's my preferred way to spend a Sunday morning. It's filming beautiful one um, videos for you, beautiful guys out there. And I'll just get the rest of that on there. And it just it spawns with the skin, doesn't it? it just disappears into the skin, leaving the most gorgeous. Um, smooth perfected look behind take glasses because they're going to tip backwards otherwise what else could go wrong today beautiful ones eh 
determined to get this film though. <laughs> I will have this on by um, this afternoon. Get some into the beard. That's two layers using a soaked uh, a soap brush. Yep. I'm very, very impressed with this stuff. It's a face and body, so um, and today, if it's okay with you guys, I won't try it on my body, um, although my legs are exposed because I've got my shorts on, although it's nearly the middle of winter. No, it's not. So it's not even Halloween yet. I'm being dramatic again. But um, So just for today, I'll just put this on my face, if that's okay with you gorgeous ones. Now then. Yep. Loving the way it looks on. I've just put my glasses on, have a close inspection. They are quite clean now. Let's have a close inspection. Yep, it's unified my skin, hasn't it? It's given me a very satiny sort of uh, look here, here and here. Yep, loving it. Really, really, really big thumbs up from me. So this one will definitely be passing. Um, unless we go onto the website and say it's, it, it, you know, it's not supposed to. It, it's a full, full, the fullest coverage foundation in the world, which we, we know it's not. Um, what I was trying to say there in my usual waffly ways, is if there's any disparity between the company's claims and our findings today, then we might fail this. But so far, I am so impressed. Wow. The only thing that, as I've said many, many times today, the only drawback I find with this foundation is the smell, although the, over, the overriding impression of this is very, very, very positive indeed. So skin types, I guess any skin could use this oily skin in particular because it's very, very lightweight, although it doesn't matter for the skin. Um, it does feel very hydrating as well. So dry skin would be per this would be perfect for sensitive skin it is fragrant. So I I'd give it a miss if I were you, unless you're one of those sensitive skins that can actually use fragrance because it's not a heavy scent. Um, loving the whole thing. I love the bottle. I love the fact that it just makes your skin look amazing. Um, and, it, it's, and it's very, very buildable as well. I mean, we could have just put on four or five layers there, couldn't we? And I imagine it still would have looked as, as good as it does now. We applied with a brush, didn't we, guys? A soaked brush and fingers. And we applied some on the back of my hand and a swatch there for colour match. And... I think today's review has been quite successful. So without any further drivel, should we have a look at the website? Let's do that. What, what I'll do, beautiful ones, is I'll put those down. I'll take screenshots of them so, you know, you're not having to refer to me stumbling my way through this. So this is called, um, hang on, sorry. Just scroll down. Makeup Revolution Body Veil Face and Body Foundation. Uh, and it doesn't say anything about glow. So maybe they do a normal version. And, this, and I've actually gone and got the glowier version of the two. There are 10 shades in all, which are, again, I'll try and show here. So the description or the details says, join the body revolution, a range designed with everybody in mind. Well, wow. that's good, isn't it? Introducing Revolution's first face and body foundation, the Revolution Body Veil Foundation, a lightweight water-based liquid foundation with a sheer to buildable coverage for a customizable skin match and a dreamy satin finish. Yep, I'd go along with all of that. Very, very sheer, um, although it's perfected the skin, hasn't it? What else was it? Satiny finish. Yep, again, you heard me say that, didn't you, without even looking at the website, that I thought it was quite satiny. An amazing colour match as well, because it's so sheer, do you know what I mean? That it would, it would um, because there's not a block of colour there. And it, the sheerness of the formulation means that more shape, more tones could wear it, uh, even if you get the wrong shade. I hope that makes sense. This water-resistant, non-sticky body and face foundation creates the perfect base to even out your skin tone whilst allowing your skin to breathe. Infused with vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. Again, there won't be levels to make a blind bit of difference to anyone's skin, but they're, they're, they're label dressing there. Fair enough, this stuff is amazing. We'll forgive them that, won't we? The Revolution Body Veil Foundation will leave your skin looking brighter and feeling hydrated throughout the day. Yep, definitely. Okay, big thumbs up from me. I'm getting really excited now. <laughs> no need to wait for, the f for a fake tan to... Ver to oh, what's that? No need to wait for a fake tan to develop. Get instant results with the, Re the Revolution Body Range. I see what they're saying there. They, they, they must have a dark, a, like a tan sort of shade, um, which gives you an instant sort of tan as opposed to waiting for for 12 hours or so for a self tan to develop. So bit of ones, having just looked at the website, we, we now know that most of, in fact, all of the claims this stuff's making um, are a, a spot on, aren't they? It's very, very sheer, buildable coverage, very, very satiny sort of finish. The color match, it just, it's matched my skin exactly now, hasn't it? Although slightly, slightly too pale, but winter pale me, as I've said before. So the body, the body veil, the Revolution Glow body veil, face and body foundation comes, certainly comes House of Joseph endorsed. I think this is an amazing product. I really, really do. Um, yeah. So, and for £10, well, £13, 59 49 something like that. I don't know how much postage costs to America. Can you buy this in the shops in the States? I don't think you can, can you? And I don't think we can buy this in the shops in England. I think it's only available online. 
I've never tried the Mac face and body. In fact, I, 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 don't, I refuse to pay Mac's prices. I think they're very, very overpriced. Um, whereas we've got stuff like Revolution, and Revolution's a very, very good, much more less, much less expensive alternative to Mac. Um, so, what I'm trying to say there is that I can't compare the two because obviously, yeah, what you've just heard me say about never having Macs. That right, okay. That's it for today, beautiful ones. I'll let you go and enjoy your Sunday now. I hope the sun's shining for you wherever you are, and have a wonderful Sunday. Have a beautiful weekend, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Yeah.